Hello and welcome back to the Predead Central YouTube channel. In this video, we will finish off discussing the remaining groups of drugs used in the management of hypertension. So, firstly, calcium channel blockers. There are basically two different types of calcium channel blockers. Firstly, the dihydropyridines such as amlodipine and nifedipine. In this case, they all pretty much end with ene. They are selective for vascular smooth muscle and cause a generalized arterial vasodilation. A key point to note about this class is that they have no cardiac actions. Some of their common side effects are peripheral edema, flushing and dizziness. These are commonly used as first-line treatment in elder patients suffering from hypertension as well as Afro-Caribbean patients. Now, the other type of calcium channel blockers are the non dihydropyridines These include verapamil and diltiazem. The main difference between the two classes of calcium channel blockers is that this class are more cardioselective, hence they have more cardiac-related side effects such as bradycardia and congestive heart failure. This is no wonder why the BNF states that both verapamil and diltiazem should be avoided in heart failure. A final key point you should be aware of is that verapamil should not be used with beta blockers as it can cause heart block. Additionally, the most common side effect of verapamil is constipation. The other major group of antihypertensive drugs we will discuss is diuretics. Now, there are a variety of different types of diuretics, for example, loop diuretics and thiazide diuretics. However, for this video, we will focus on thiazide diuretics. The key things you need to be aware of are that clotalidone and indapamide are now the preferred choices of diuretics for the management of hypertension. Some of their key side effects include hypokalemia, hyponatremia. However, thiazide diuretics may cause hyperuricemia and hypercalcemia and gout. Not only that, but they can also cause hyperglycemia. However, according to the BNF, indapamide causes less aggravation to diabetes and so would be the preferred drug in diabetic patients. Lastly, with respect to pregnancy, thiazide diuretics should not be used as they can cause neonatal thrombocytopenia. Other classes of drugs that you need to be aware of include alpha receptor, blocker, alpha receptor blockers, sorry, such as doxazosin, centrally acting antihypertensives such as moxonidine and vasodilator drugs including hydralazine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to our channel to keep updated on our future videos which will be uploaded on a regular basis. Thank you for watching.